Good morning everybody, welcome to my vlog and welcome to episode seven of a guy and his zero. Okay, I'm back, so check it out. We got um, 14 yards to do today. 14 yards to do today, all within like if you drove from my house to the furthest house, it's about maybe a half a mile, maybe. And then all the rest are in between. So <clears throat> that is serious, serious, serious route density. That's just straight up, we're gonna work until we can't work no more type work. Now, here's the deal. Yesterday, we got a jump on the week. We did four of these yesterday. So we only have four, uh, 10 to do today. So 14 turns to 10 because we did get a jump on it. And that's really good that we did that. Uh, Cause I am just not in the mood to do 14 yards today. I am tired. This has been a long season, it seems to me. I don't know. Um, we didn't really get much of a winter here. We stayed busy through the winter. Um, and, you know, not really mowing lawns so much, but between the pressure washing, you know, the concrete and surface cleaning, and then doing the, um, leaf cleanups and stuff like that and then people with their holidays and stuff want you know people coming over for the holidays I should say uh, things got things stayed kind of kind of good through winter um, I think the slowest month I had was probably like the last half of February everything just kind of fell on its face and I think that's because that's when everybody starts getting their credit card statements for um, Christmas and, and and uh, Hanukkah and all that stuff, all the gifts they were buying, <coughs> and uh, all the drinks for New Year's and party supplies, and you know, everything kind of hits them toward the end of February. Here's the deal, here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do the 10 yards today, but I wanna show you a little bit of marketing. I don't really need to grow my business so much anymore this in this manner because, you know, I mean, I, I get calls every day. Uh, I get new people, probably three or four, opportunities every week that you know we'll we take people on either once in a while or something uh, but the business is now kind of self-growing uh, on its own just through word of mouth and always being out when you're always out you get work and that's one of the biggest things I always tell people you got to get out you got to get out if you're really trying to grow your business you need to work on Saturdays you need to be out in people's faces when they're home and they hear your mower and they see your truck and they go hey that guy's a lawn guy. And then, you know, the, the next thing that you need to, to fix, you need to overcome the hurdle uh, that, that, that faces them. And that is, oh man, I, I don't know. I bet, man, I don't know. I heard people pay like 50 bucks, like 40 bucks. Oh man, it's so expensive. I don't know. What if he's like $60? And then the wife is like, honey, go ask him. And then he's like, man, I don't just do it myself. And then, you know, he sits there and takes an entire weekend to clean the carburetor and try to get his mower going. And then <coughs> he does, it doesn't work. Monday morning, the wife's on the phone calling around to friends looking on Facebook for a long guy. Um, there's your opportunity that you just lost. What you need to do is you need to have a yard sign, a lawn sign, sticking up in the back of your truck. Um, if you work out of a station wagon or whatever, you got to have a yard sign where people can look, they hear you, so they look. What's that noise? They look. And now they're looking at you. Oh, what's he doing? They see the mower. Or maybe they don't see a mower. I don't know. But they look, they say, what's he doing? They look. Now, the first thing you want to do is what you do, what you charge, and how to contact you. If you can answer those three questions within... 15 seconds or less of the of the, the prospect, a prospect is, is a possible customer, um, of a prospect looking at you, you may get that account. So what you do is you set yourself up a nice yard sign. You go to vistaprint.com. I'll even put a link in my, in my, um, in my description at the end of this movie if you want uh, to Vistaprint. If you don't know how to find Vistaprint, I'll make it even easier for you. You go to vistaprint.com and uh, from there you click on um, marketing I guess and you click on yard signs and uh, or lawn signs or whatever it is you choose to large and then you just start filling it in it'll give you the little blocks you start filling it in move them around make them look nice whatever white sign black letters that's all you need 
nothing else, nothing fancy. White sign, black letters. You tell them what you do, lawn care. You tell them what you charge, most lawns, 40 bucks. Most lawns, 30 bucks. So you just put a big 40. All right, let's just say you're doing 5,000 square foot yards. $40, 40 bucks, that's it, boom, $40. You put a big giant 40 bucks, lawn care as big as you can, and then $40 right in the middle, just underneath that, $40. And then underneath that in smaller type, you could put includes, cut, edge, weedy, blow. And that's it, you know, bushes, weed spraying, fertilizer, tree trimming, all that stuff's extra. That's all stuff you, you talk about later. But for right now, cut, edge, trim, blow. That's what you do. That's all that you do. Because you're put by the sailor man. Beep, beep. So that's it. And then you turn around and then you have your phone number. Just as big as possible. What you do, what you charge, how to contact you. If you follow that simple recipe, I promise you, your business will blow up. Now, it's not going to blow up if you're putting $60 in, a, in an area that $40 yards. Okay, people are gonna be like, F you, that's not gonna happen. But, you know, if you're if you're trying to build route dis, dis, or density to the point where you can go to one neighborhood like we're doing today, I'm going to get ice and coffee. I ran out of creamer, so I'm going to get ice and coffee. Um, but if you wanna build where, you know, you can make $400 in one day, then you need to get 10 $40 lawns. Or you need to get uh, what, 12, $30 lawns? What is that? That'd be 10, would be 300, 360, 13. You need 13 $30 yards and you'll make 390. Um, so you need to turn around and you need to hammer, hammer at home what you do, what you charge, and how to contact you. And these people are going to blow you up. You're taking all the fear away of what you charge. You're making it so simple, that's it, boom. They now know that they can or they cannot afford you. And then, the best part about it is, every single person that calls you off that yard sign, you don't need to do estimates. That's it, you don't have to waste your time driving back and forth, giving quotes, giving estimates, doing nothing. Because you just ask them simple questions. They'll say, hey, I saw your sign, it said $40. Does that, does that include me? Well, I don't know, let me ask you a couple questions. Do you live on a corner lot or do you have like one of them huge pie-shaped cul-de-sac lawns? No, it's just a standard yard. Well then, yes, it uh, should be $40. And that includes cut, edge, trim, blow. And you know, if you want me to shape your bushes and stuff like that, then that's, that, that's extra, but we could talk about that. And this is based on a 14-day cycle or a seven day cycle or whatever it is for your area oh what if I wanted you to just to do it just this one time well ma'am that that would be slightly extra and I would have to come out and and see the, the shape of your yard you know um, and then you start asking questions when's the last time you had your yard serviced you know uh, blah 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 you win some you lose some I mean some yards are gonna suck man but if you're picking them up on a 14 day schedule then enjoy the suck and build your route and that's it that's all I can say you know um, it's up to you what you want to do when you get there if the place is an absolute freaking disaster then you know then you got to start working at that situation accordingly you know that's that's between you and your customer you need to do what you need to do to make things right um, I personally once I tell somebody yes yeah, sounds like you're just a $40 yard I just go and I do the $40 yard uh, even if I'm there a little bit too long as long as they're gonna be a regular customer, then I'll take the time to clean them up and use route discipline and build my density and start making these four or five hundred dollar days like I do every day, right? So you could do the same exact thing. What you do, what you charge, how to contact you. I brought a yard sign with me. I'm gonna put it up today. At every yard we go to, I'll try to put it up. Um, <coughs> it doesn't have the price on it because when I started a couple, what, a, a year ago? Well, when I started basically two years ago as I was getting out of the military, I got yard signs made up and I was just hitting yards for 30 bucks to build my business up. Um, so I don't really want to advertise that $30 sign right now because um, I'm, I'm above 30 bucks now, you know, I'm mostly charging 40. Um, but I have another sign. I have a different one. So I'll show you what I do, how I do it. Just stick that shit up in, your, in the back of your truck and start building your business. Okay? So let me go get some ice. Let me get some coffee and uh, we'll get started with our 10-yard day. Okay, so <clears throat> we got two done, but here's the sign I'm talking about. Just stick it up in the bed of your truck. There's one and two. 
So there's two together here. Then I have another two together. Then I have three together. And then an individual. And we'll be out of this neighborhood and we have a two together. So it's like density, man, density. But you see this sign, we've talked about this sign before. This one was more um, for just sticking into the ground at certain areas, not a specific price, because it could vary from 30 to 50, depending on what we're gonna do and the size of the yard. But, you know, what you do right here, what you charge includes cut, edge, trim, blow, and then your phone number real big right there. And just, you know, they give you the sign, they, they give you the stand. Get yourself a couple signs, get yourself a couple stands. You can throw one in the back of your truck, just like that. And I put one here on the back of my trailer. I took the screws out that holds the sheet metal on. And uh, I just put one there, just simple, real simple. So just tell them what you do, what you charge, and how to contact you. And uh, your business will blow up, I promise you. That's um. You know, like I said, the ones that I have that are like that are $30 signs. I don't have any that say 40, but uh, I should get some that say 40. But I'm really, I really don't need to to advertise like that anymore. So we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but let's get out of here. Let's go to work. I just messed up pretty good. <laughs> so there's number three, and then this one's number four. And look at this. Boom fell off the mower fell off I wasn't paying attention and the caster wheel came off I burnt the shit out of it so I knocked on the door and I told him hey you know this is what happened I'll blend it in the best I can with the weed eater would you like me to bring some sod and you know I'll, I'll go get a couple pieces of sod but he was like no nah, don't worry about it so I mean sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet man knock on that door you know it happens Sometimes it happens, it happens, um, and it happened. So let's uh, let's go to work.
I'm not really this sweaty. I just rinsed off with the water spigot. Just kind of clean my face and arms a little bit. I'm gonna run home, let the dogs out. So we got seven done, three to go. It's one o'clock. One, two, you watched me, Mel. And then three is the entrance way out there. Um, my fourth one is right where that car is now, right there. That's where my fourth one is for this little area. Um, which would be eight, and then at least two on my street down at the end. Uh, but it's one, I could do that one real fast. That one's like a 30 minute yard, but I wanna let my dogs out and I wanna grab a soda. I, I want a soda. Uh, I got soda in the fridge. And I mean, I'm right here. I mean, literally, I could, I could skateboard to my house in 30 seconds. Um, so, no big deal. We'll take a few seconds, three yards left to go for the day. And then we're gonna look really, really good. Oops, sorry. And then we're going to be in really good shape uh, going into the rest of the week here. I did warn you guys that this week, you know, it like seems like a slow week. It's like 40-something yards at the end. Uh, by the time we're done, you know, it's like 50, 55 last week. It'll be 40-something this week to put us well over 90, about 100 yards for the two-week interval. And that's because once in a while, there's will start calling again. And so we've already got one. Um, we're gonna go ahead, in fact, it's the last video I did where I pressure washed, where I said um, Tall Peaks No Problem or something like that, I think was the title, probably about maybe three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, but I, I did a, I did um, Tall Peaks No Problem or something like that is the title. That house um, needs to be mowed, and it's neighboring two of my yards that I do in that neighborhood. So it's an off week. I go back into that neighborhood next week, Monday I go into that neighborhood, and then I'm back in that neighborhood again Thursday. Well, uh, she's, she really needs it done this week because the HOA is giving her some poop. So um, I didn't tell her a price, but she's looking at probably 50 bucks because if it's in bad shape, then you know, she's gonna pay a little extra. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I already did a pressure wash job there and now doing the lawn, lawn job, so that's kind of cool. Um, obviously these people are um, coming to like me and uh, giving me some money so I'll take it and uh, so we're in my neighborhood now already as you can see so we'll be home in just a second and my neighbor police officer he's up there in rank too so he's cool he's cool to talk to you learn a lot uh, about what's going on and stuff so uh, so let's uh, go ahead and let these dogs out grab a soda and then uh, Get back out here do this one and then we'll go down here and spend a little time doing the two that are together and the two that are together one of them is the is an elderly lady I had over for dinner a couple weekends ago her and my my exact neighbor right next door I had a little uh, senior citizen bingo night or something with with two seniors <laughs> it was really nice we made a uh, pork roast I made a pork roast in the crock pot and you know stuff like that and they love that and I loved it it was great they're just good people
what's going to happen now is I'll come with the weed eater and I'll chop up those leaves as I uh, go to the backyard. So Let me go ahead and finish up and I'll see you in the truck. What we did today so far, have you seen that finished product enough while it's blowing off? Uh, that's uh, eight for the day. So we'll go do a couple more um, and then we'll be done. That's 10. And that's a total of 14 for today because we knocked out four yesterday. Um, if we kept going yesterday, the two that we're going to do right now would have been done. But I didn't want to work that late. Look at these storm clouds coming. That's pretty. Maybe I'll give you guys a time lapse while I'm working on this one. Let me see what happens here where I can park. Maybe I'll give you guys a time lapse. That'd be kind of cool. I got you a lot of mowing. I got you some weed eating and edging and some blowing. Um, try to get you guys a time lapse. Time lapse is cool. Uh, kind of breaks up the monotony. Um, so, whew. oh, those beautiful clouds. Uh, so what we did, we did two together, two together, three together, one alone, and now two together. That is like the extreme route density right there. That's like some serious density. I, mean, I spent more money in a bag of ice than I did in the gas in my truck today to go out and make uh, over 300 bucks. You know, I mean, spent I spent more money on a bag of ice than than gas. Not not including the equipment, but just you know for my truck. That's huge, man. Stuff like that is really really big. So you know, think about that. You know, you new guys coming up. I know you want 50, 60, 70 dollar yards, and I know other people tell you that too. And you know, I get it, but sometimes, you know, you got to get two 35 yards together, make that 70 bucks, you know, you're there. And you save so much time and energy and effort and driving all around and stuff, you know, I mean, there's always room later to go picky. There's always room later to up prices down the road, um, you know, once you get your foot in the door. But don't be afraid using a lot of discipline, don't be afraid to build density and you know that means you gotta charge maybe five bucks less a lawn than you want then charge five bucks less a lawn than you want but you know a three hundred dollar day is better than a no hundred dollar day so go out there and make three hundred bucks all right ten thirty dollar yards make three hundred bucks when you're maxed out or you're getting maxed out and you just can't afford any more um you really need you know you need more money or you're working too hard or or you're running out of time and you need to build up more time um, or build up more lawns, more money, then you can start dropping slow payers and no payers and, you know, raise prices. But get your foot in the door. Get your foot in the door. Build that discipline. Build that density by using discipline. And sometimes the discipline is a little bit less than what you would like. But a $300 day is better than a no $100 day. I'll take that any day. So let me go ahead and get things set up here and let's see if I can't get you guys uh, maybe some pretty cool clouds or something I don't know we got a two-story building and no I'm not gonna be able to get you guys a time-lapse oh that's too bad we'll have to see I don't think so but let me go ahead and uh, get my customers scored away here well I wasn't able to get you a time-lapse just because of the where we're parked at it just I wouldn't have been able to get a good view but anyways nine ten uh, these two are done <clears throat> there we go and it's a little after three this shirt's chafing my nipples I'm not very comfortable 316 that's the time I like that that's not bad at all if we still had those four yards to do I'd uh you know 316 I wouldn't be done till 530 almost six o'clock so and if these clouds come in like looks like they are we might even get some rain this afternoon which would be awesome we need some rain uh, so we're good I'm happy right now I'm happy with the way things are um, for this week setting up looks like we should be able to uh, do okay like I said I'm gonna have my kids this weekend so I can't afford to have any mishaps, so we gotta keep keep the pressure on. We gotta keep going. We got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We got three full days. Uh, 
Yeah, I gotta make sure I can get through them. 